John in St. Petersburg. You're on the air at 970 WFLA. Good day, Bob. I'm calling uh, on behalf of the listeners out here, me not included in that. They uh, Everything you say on the radio, they just eat up. They're so gullible. And uh, they just tuddle around the radio on weekends as if there's nothing more to life than your show. Well, I can take it or leave it. Sure, John. John and Seminole, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Yeah, Bob. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Well, I'm not a last kisser, Bob. I don't want to start out there, you know, what a last kisser is. Not somebody that's going to call up and tell you they don't agree with you, and then they can listen to you about five seconds. Oh, Bob, I agree with everything you say, because I don't do that. But yesterday you were talking about your dog, and... You're talking about Lizard Show and the people that called up. But there was a lady called up had something real good to say, Bob. That had that been Reagan, had that been Bush, or anybody else, you would have picked at them to no end. Is you have no way of knowing that. What? You have utterly no way of knowing that. Yeah, I know you, Bob. No, you don't know me. Get off my case. What the hell do you mean you know me? Well, what Bob, kind of a despicable punk are you to sit out, sit out there at your radio, not having the vaguest idea who you, or Bob. what I am, and have the audacity to tell to me to that you politics. know me? A ninth grade education, and you talk politics. Well, it's not a ninth grade education, jerk. What is it? None of your damned business. I've told yeah. you a number of times. Yeah. Who cares? Oh, well, I care if you're going to talk politics. You care. What you care about doesn't count, man, because you're willing to sit there and spout statistics that you don't know are true. And laugh at you because yours aren't true either. Yeah, laugh at all mine, you baby. Go, go is, ahead and laugh at my punk. Just say with your, your minimum wage. It's just a, just a, you just trying to get the ratings. That's all. Yeah, right. That's all it means to you. Right, sucker. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Did, let me ask you a question. Do you throw it in the garbage can, bury it in the backyard, or put it in the freezer? What's that? Your dog. Neither. Well, you, you know, sometimes you're so smart. You had Mary when the when the dog got the ring. And you had Mary going through the dog coop looking for the ring. You're so smart, so rich. Why don't you get a metal detector, Bob? Instead of having your wife go through the dog coop, you probably kissed her fingers when she was done too, didn't you, Bob? Any other subhuman pigs out there that want to take me on? Go on, subhuman pigs. What, are you afraid of me? Cowards, huh? 23 the time. In case you're just joining us and wondering what we're doing this hour, no problem. I'd be delighted to bring you up to speed. We are devoting the entire first hour for all of the gutless wonders in the audience who called Liz yesterday wishing for my suicide, wishing for my death, wishing for the breakup of my marriage, etc., 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 to have the courage to confront me in person with that crap. Jim in Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Uh, yes, uh, I'm a first-time caller, and I, I, but I listen to your program every day. And it seems like when uh, Lasseter and, and that, young, that other guy that's on on Sunday, I don't know what his name is, they have different views than you do. And just like uh, right now, the press asked uh, about the National Guard. Sir, have you called up to, you know, wish me dead? No, no. Then get off my phone. Pay attention to what we're doing here. Joe and Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Yeah, Fat Asada, how you doing? Get down to it, Joe. Was it Freddie Metz that was driving the car that ran over your dog? Is that about it, Joe? Yeah. Can Great. you... Let's go to Lou in St. Petersburg. Lou, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Bob, you've got it all turned around. You're the coward, Bob. I apologize for calling you a draft dodger. You're not. You're not a draft dodger. You're a coward. No intestinal fortitude. You know, the lower extremity type. Handgun closet owners. You rag the NRA. You get there and you get on Marion Hammer's case. And you've got a handgun sitting at home. You're so paranoid you can't deal with the guy in the parking lot at the play, Bob. You know, you talk about all these other people's problems. You're the one with problems. And then whenever you get anyone with half an ounce of intelligence who wants to contest what it is you're spewing on the radio, click, you got them cut off, Bob. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and see if I can find somebody with half an ounce of intelligence. Hey, Obviously, I don't have one here. Tony in Tampa. Bob? Yeah. Listen, Tony and Dunedin. You know I'm not calling up the Razz because I like it. I... Let's go to Peggy in Tampa. Peggy, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hi, Bob. I'm a first-time caller, and I'd just like to ask you a question. Did you thank Liz for uh, doing the show yesterday? 
Hello? I've not seen her, ma'am. Oh, well, she did a really good job, and I just wanted to let you know, I, I listen to you all the time, and, and I your program's good. We are devoting the entire first hour. If you can't get this through your thick little heads, then, you know, hey, such is life. You're wasting your time to the gutless wonders out there to confront me with their predictions of the demise of my marriage, of my impending suicide, and other such delightful things. Oh, sure, also to cast aspersions of dead dogs. What the hell? Go for it, babies, huh? What, are you afraid? Are you afraid? Ah. Didn't seem to be afraid yesterday with Liz. What's the matter? Carol in Tampa. Carol, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Bablasita. Go ahead. Bablasita. I, I never have been able to call you. I had to call the office. The producer won't let me go through to you. And I wanted to tell you that you are the best. Let's go to uh, Dan in Tampa momentarily here. Dan in Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Is this a rating sweep this week? No, there are no there sweeps in radio. Here. There are no sweeps in radio. Let us go to uh, Don in Tampa. Don, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hey, I'm not afraid. Hello. Go ahead. Hey. Call everybody subhuman pigs. It takes one to know one, pal. I wouldn't know about that, sir. Yes, you would. Mm -hmm. You got names for everybody, you know what I mean? Who are you to, to, to get on this high horse thinking you're God or somebody? I don't think I'm Have God, sir. I don't believe in a personal God? God. Yeah, every morning. Yeah, you do. I mm -hmm. think you need to look a little harder next oh, time you get up in the morning. Why is that, morning, sir? You know? Why is that? Because. Because what? You come off like you're so arrogant. Like what am I going to see when I look in the mirror, thing? sir? What? What am I going to see when I look in the mirror? You're going to see a, you're going to see a subhuman pig. Oh. Just what you're calling yourself. That's mm -hmm. what you are. You call everybody in Tampa subhuman pigs. No, I haven't you called everybody know, in Tampa sir, subhuman pig. Just the people know. who deserve it. You should know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do know. That's right. You should right. know. Well, I you, do you know. You're calling people names. Have you looked at yourself? Well, you need to take a look at yourself, Bob. Mm hmm why don't you go somewhere and jerk off? Mm -hmm. Lori in Zephyr Hills, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hello. Um, I hope you won't hang up on me. Uh, I just wanted to call. And um, it's... I hope that uh, whatever problems you're going through, I hope that everything will work. Great. Glad to hear it. Peter in St. Petersburg, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. How are you talking to Peter? That's right. Uh, Bob, uh, the only complaint I have about you is your, uh, you describe Michael Dukakis as, as... Ann in Clearwater, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Um, <laughs> this is Ann from Clearwater. Yeah, I know. And, That's why uh, I answered the phone by saying, Ann in Clearwater, you're on the I'm air. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. But, uh, I think that Liz Richards did a real job on you. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that she should have continued that from... For one hour to get... Well, call her up and tell her about it. This show is devoted. This first hour is devoted to those people who would like to see me dead, my marriage come to an end, or delighted that my dog is dead. Glenn in Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hello. Yeah. This is Glenn. I know. Go ahead. All right. Hmm. 990-9352, Gutless Wonders, if you're in Hillsboro, or for the Gutless Wonders in Pinellas, 461-9352, 461-WFLA, George, somewhere, you're on the air at 970 oh. WFLA. Hello. Yeah? Yeah, I just want to congratulate you. I think you're doing... Can't you people understand simple English? I'm not in the least bit interested. Not in the least bit interested in anyone but those Gutless Wonders. So don't waste your time. Don't bother tying up your phone line. You might be getting an important call or something. Because I'm only interested in those subhuman pigs. Who had the time to call yesterday. But don't have the courage to confront me.
Beth in Clearwater. You're on the air at 970 WFLA. Yeah, don't you know there are leash laws for dogs? Why didn't you have your dog on a leash? Also, you're looking for sympathy. You know, a lot of us have lost our pets. You're not the only one that should be sympathized with. And subhuman pig, that's Hitler's ex expression for the Jews. Kim in St. Petersburg, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Go ahead. Another one, huh? Such is life. Win some, lose some. You know what I mean? Jim in St. Petersburg, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hey, am I one of those gutless wonders? Write this, write this figure down and talk about it for uh, the next hour. You, uh, they were putting those gutless wonders in the uh, hunts down in uh, New Orleans, you know, down uh, in jail, you know, they're being a gutless wonder. And uh, you being one of those fancy guys, they're hiding behind the, uh, am I shut off? Am I on? Can't tell whether I'm on or not. You're the number one manipulator. You know what that means. Oh, how's that? And I want to have you talk about it. Take an hour off. Take an hour and then talk about it. I'll do whatever the hell I want to do on You're my the show, sir. You're the number one yeah. manipulator how's in that? this area. How's all that? The talk hosts in this How town. is that, sir? What do you You're mean by that? What do you mean by that? So do you know oh, what you mean by it? That's the closest you can ever come and still stay free. Uh-huh. Good luck to you. Oh, as a, but jerks like down. you running around outside. I'm going to need good luck. And no, sir, I don't need to write it down. Thank you. Kim in Clearwater, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hi there. Uh, I was always too gutless to ask Fowler for the chili recipe. Can you give us that? Jim in Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Yeah, Bob, uh, you are sarcastic. And the reason you're sarcastic is because you're a typical Jew, a Russian Jew. That's why you're sarcastic. It's typical uh, that you're, you are a Jew, Russian in particular. You there, Bob? Yeah, I'm here. You claim that your grandparents are Catholic. For your information, the uh, Russians are Orthodox. They're not Catholic. You're a lousy liar, you Jew. That's your problem. You got a chip on your shoulder because you're Jew. Well, well, wait a second. If all the Russians are Orthodox, how could some of them be Jews? Pardon me? I said if all the Russians are Orthodox, how could some of them be Jews? Or hadn't you bothered to think it through that far? They're, in, instead of Catholic, they would be Orthodox. You're a lousy liar. And your grandparents came here at a time when they were pogroms. They are Jewish Russians. That's the type of Russian who fled when your grandparents did. Oh, uh, When that's did my grandparents come here? That's why you're sarcastic. When did my grandparents come here? At the beginning of the century, during the pogroms. They're uh, obviously what, Russian what, Jews. What years did they come here? Probably 1915. Probably. Oh, I see. Yes, uh, judging from your age, they would have to be uh, approximately 1915 when they came here. Uh -huh. Beginning of the century when the pogroms were going on. Uh -huh. And there, there aren't Catholic Russians that come here. No way, Bob. You're a bad liar. Uh -huh. you got to check out your alibis before you start telling people that you're Catholic. Yeah. That's bull. Uh-huh. Perhaps they sent you to So what Catholic. if I was Jewish? Pardon? What if I was Jewish? That's why Jewish? you're so sarcastic. Oh. Typical. You're a typical Jew. I see. All the Jews are like that. Look at Milton Berle. All these are you a, ty are you a typical wasp, sir? You're sarcastic. Are you a typical Jews. wasp making it up as you go along? Uh, you're the one who's a lousy liar. You're the one who's got caught. Oh, really? Catholic when did I get Russian. caught? You're Catholic Russian. My eye. What, when did I get caught? Lying that you're Catholic Russian. That's a oh. joke. Uh-huh. you got to check it out. The Russians are Orthodox. If you just said Orthodox, I maybe wouldn't like I, th I, th th I thought the Russians were Jews. Which is it? So, uh, they're Orthodox with a minority uh, of Jews. With a minority of Jews. Yes, who came here when your grandparents did. Uh -huh. Don't try to deny it. You don't want the people to, to, to realize it because you have such a bad reputation. About you the worst thing you can possibly think of is being Jewish, isn't it? Pardon me? About the worst thing you can possibly think of is being Jewish, that isn't just it? That explains your attitude, the way uh, you are. Oh, your, I see. Your, your bitingness, your, the way you treat people. Uh-huh. It's typical. Yeah. And you're a lousy liar. Well, you know what? I treat people like people. I treat scum like scum. Mark in Clearwater, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. How many people listen to you? Quite a few. How many are subhuman pigs and gutless wonders? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out this hour. How many, Bob? How many, Bob? I just answered, you jerk. Hey, I wish that uh, I could have been raised by a single parent.
parent alcoholic and dropped out of school in the eighth grade, I might be doing good like you too, huh? Uh, she wasn't an alcoholic. I hope Mary's kicking some of that money away so when you, you know, when you do go, she at least got something to carry on for. Uh-huh. Can we be there? Will you let us know when you're going to do it? Uh-huh. How are you going to do it? Razor blades? Oh, you just have to wait and see. I'd like to know. I'll bet you would. I'd like to see it. What a frustrated little pig you must be, huh? Little. At least I'm little. How big are you, Bob? You want a pizza today? You want a couple pizzas? Yeah, maybe I would. Why don't you send Twinkies some over? I, I didn't get your pizza with Twinkies. No, I don't. I don't You're like Twinkies. You're a fat, slob, uh-huh. subhuman pig, Lassiter. Yeah. If I ain't no last kisser, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, I bet you got a big one to kiss, don't you, Mary? That's what she probably get tired. What happened down in Miami with your ex-wife when you killed the baby? Uh, that wasn't that wife, uh, wasn't that location. Oh, you killed it, though, didn't you? No, I didn't kill any babies. And you talked to the lady from the NRA, and you said they're talking about, you're talking about the FBI statistics, and you said, well, an educational guess. You, you take a lot of freedom with the word educational for an eighth grade dropout, don't you, Bob? Well, first of all, it wasn't eighth grade. It was mm-hmm. the 11th grade. And secondly, 11th it was she grade. who brought up the FBI oh, boy, statistics, Bob. and it was you she who concurred that they were educated kid. guesses because it was she You're who said the FBI did not have lost. precise numbers. Yeah. Yeah, if that's right, Punk. If your out, you'd be lost. You're lost now. I don't have a computer terminal in here. You're lost now. Why don't you go back to talking about blacks and whites? That's what you made you over at PLP. Now you're trying to get politics. No, it wasn't what made yeah, me over at PLP. You know what made me over at PLP? That's, that's what made it was having you, guys like that's you on. That's what made you. That's what made you. Yeah, I know you made yeah, me, man. Ryan, you Rocky. made me. You and other ignorant pigs like you made me. Hey, ignorance draws ignorance, doesn't it, Bob? No, it you're doesn't. Here. I'm a gutless wonder, Bob. Um, I've called y'all several times trying because i'm doing sociology journalism stuff to meet you in person and i've always chickened out or just come down to watch the show and i've never got, even got a return call from you about um coming down and and, wa- and helping you're watching or playing gopher or whatever so i wonder really who is the gutless wonder if we both are in the hot seat show i saw you well first of all i've never received any communications from you along those lines or from anyone else by the way well whatever. yeah well the hot seat show, you were shaking, Bob. They were showing close-ups of your watch and your hair, and you were—I was really surprised. You know, it's, when you when they asked people who actually got a chance to see you in person, they—you uh, just kind of clammed up. You, I didn't expect that. Uh-huh. And today is just another good example. I didn't call on a Bob Bash day. I'd never call on a Kiss Bob Butt day, but you're doing it again today. You're manipulating people. I know that's what you get off on. It gives you a, a sense of power to be able to have. One day, people calling you in and saying, oh, Bob's this and that. And the next day, them brown nosing you. And I know that's what you get off on. Right. And you watch out. Just watch out, Bob. Remember what you said about competition? Yeah, what about it? Sooner or later, you're going to screw up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Another person's going to step in. And I noticed a big change in your attitude when they showed that movie on network TV of Tom Selleck. And he was playing the the jewel thief. And the name of the movie was Lassiter. Uh Uh-huh. And you had a whole change of attitude like that. Really? I've never seen it. Well, yeah. I just, I'm waiting, Bob. Woo-hoo. The mutt got rolled. And you can't give the mutt a blowjob no more, can you, Bob? <laughs> I've made my point, Bob. Your silence makes your point. That's right. Off we go to Ed and Port Richie. Ed, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Aw, pity poo, Ed. Couldn't wait. Gene and Dunedin, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Yeah, I want to know, if you were so crazy about your damn dog, what was it running out for? Also, now you've caused uh, Freddie Mertz to be fired. No, I haven't, man. Caused, oh, yes, you did. And no, I didn't, man. caused... Uh, By the way, he wasn't Jack fired. Jack Wheeler to be fired. You jo- Jack, uh... Uh, ma'am, I didn't even you work did, there when so Wheeler was fired. Caused, uh, ma'am, I didn't work there when Wheeler was fired. I don't I've been give gone a damn word. That's all you are. How many grandchildren do you have? I got lots of them. I'm sure glad you aren't one of them. How many? Hey, well, your wife sure must have been hard up when she married you to get a man. She didn't get a man. She got a tub of shit. Mike and Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. I think you're a dirtbag. Oh, why's that? A scum-sucking dog. Why's that, Mike? Because I just think that you're a oh. gutless wonder. Can't exactly put it into words, huh? 
Yeah, I can't put it into words. Well, then why don't you favor us with some? There's so many words I can't come to mind right now. Yeah, I'm sure there are. I think you're incredibly, like all of them. incredibly insensitive mm -hmm. to all the needs of American people. Mm -hmm. And I think you're a typical example of what a true gutless wonder really is. Mm -hmm. You're the epitome mm -hmm. of a dog-sucking epitome of a gutless wonder. Mm -hmm. Is that about it? I could go on for hours. Go I'm ahead, sure man. You don't want to take on, take on go the ahead. time. Go ahead. But I'll, go I, ahead. I've got other things to do now. Oh. Smack my breath. Paul and Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Is this Paul? Go ahead. Mr. Lasseter, I, I hope I'm on the air. I've got a very bad connection here, and I'm standing at a pay phone. Me calling you today goes against everything that I stand for, all my principles. I swore to myself that I would never call you, and I have broken that. I didn't think your shows could get any more absurd and ridiculous until the last few minutes of your show yesterday. I was appalled. You crying over a lost dog like it was a human being with a soul. Be that as it may, you said to an earlier call... Sir, I couldn't possibly cry over a human being with a soul because I don't believe that human beings have souls. Well, that's your problem. That's not well, then my don't, problem. Well, then don't say I cried over it like a human being who had a soul. That's your problem. Uh -huh. The other thing, you, sa you said to an earlier caller that the people calling your show makes you... That's one of the reasons why I swore to myself I'd never call, but I couldn't pass up this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Aside from you being one of the rudest and most ignorant people that I have ever heard in my whole entire life. Would you life. care to give the audience a demonstration of some of my ignorance? Second. Would you care to give the audience a demonstration of some of my ignorance? Just your whole being. Oh, I just, I just my whole being. The microphone. You get people face to face with you, and you fall apart. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And would you like to come in and confront me face-to-face, -face, sir, and do an hour with me? One of your Would you like to come in and confront me, sir, face-to-face, -face and do an hour with me and I, demonstrate I'll, I'll to the audience happy. my ignorance? I'll be very happy to do an hour with you. When I'll can you come my in? my name and address. You can call me, but I don't I'll put you on hold, sir. My producer will get your name and address, and we'll That's schedule you at your earliest hour. Uh, can I finish uh, saying what I was going to say before? You can you... say it during the hour that you're in here confronting me face-to-face, -face, sir. I'll put you on hold. My producer will get your name and phone number. And we will schedule you at your earliest convenience. Linda in Tampa. Linda, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. I think you are terrible. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you are doing. Um, what am I doing, ma'am, that I should be ashamed I, of? Their whole thing. You said What am I doing now, specifically? Wait a minute. Let me talk. You talk on and on. You talk. That's right, ma'am. It's my show. You are constantly misleading the public about Dukakis. And everything uh, else, the man is a sick, perverted man, just like you. You only are sticking up for him because his wife is Jewish, just like you. Ma'am, ma'am, I have said I do not like Michael you Dukakis. Said yes, you said a couple of days ago that the reason why he only left a $6 million debt in Massachusetts. Well, you said it's because, well, Mass other cities and states have other bigger deficits. No, I didn't say that at all, ma'am. I guess you did. No, I didn't, ma'am. That would have been an absolutely well, absurd thing to say. You can't compare Boston to Los Angeles. There's two different cities right there. Mm -hmm. And all the cities combined I'm are aware there are two different deficit. cities, yes. You are, Very well you read. are constantly misleading the public mm -hmm. to, to do everything your way. And I don't believe it. You are swaying people, and you are lying to people. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your dog, I'm glad it got run over or whatever because I can't stand dogs. They shit all over everything. Cats are the best animals in the world. Goodbye. Goodbye, ma'am. Joe in Temple Terrace, you're on the air at 970 yeah. WFLA. Yeah, Bob, I promised myself I'd never call you because I mm. do dislike you uh, permanently. But uh, I have to apologize to these people. We'll go off to Paul in Tampa who hopefully will understand what we're all about today. Paul, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Yeah, this is the Paul you put on hold so your producer could pick up and get my name and phone number. What's the oh, matter, okay. Rasset? Are you afraid to do it? Not at all. He hasn't gotten around to it. We'll put you back on hold. We'll see who's really afraid. Jeff in St. Petersburg. Jeff, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Get Paul. Line 5 is a yeah. phone number and name. Go ahead, Jeff. I see you as a similar figure in history. 
How about Elvis? Gimme, gimme, gimme more pizzas. Hey, Mary, pick me up some glazed donuts on the way home, too. I see your death coming. There's an OD as you drink your vodka in your plush home, as you probably gave your dog, and it just went cuckoo running out the door. That's the way I see you ending up, Bob. Is that about it? No. See ya. Ernie and Tampa. Ernie, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hey, yeah, Bob. Uh, I saw you on the show with Richie. On the show that you were on not too long ago. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. And uh, I saw you sitting there in the chair. You were making goo eyes at that big, strong guy. Yeah, you liked him, huh? Is that of some particular interest to you? Are you looking for a date? Huh? No, I don't want to date with you. I just said, oh, another thing I wanted to tell you real quick mm. there. Did you ever see the thing there on the death of Elvis? No. Well, there's a little picture there that shows Elvis. Yeah. Uh, bald and with a beard. Uh-huh. Kind of looks like you a little bit. Uh-huh. Are you Elvis? What do you think? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. It's kind of important to you, though, isn't it? Excuse me? It's kind of important to you, though, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. I dream about it at night sometimes. I'll bet you do. Yeah. So are you or aren't you? Charlie Davis standing by in the WFLA news booth. Charlie, in Temple Terrace, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Yeah, this is Joe. We started talking before. <laughs> uh, telling you that uh, I listen to a lot of talk shows. I never called you because uh, listening to the way you respond to callers who don't agree with you, uh, it's just be masochism on my part to call you. Today was kind of an open invitation. I've heard the Steve Caves, the Fowlers, uh, the rest of them throughout Florida. I don't agree with many of them. But they're very rarely rude to a guest unless the caller has initiated the rudeness. Mm. And I'd expect you to retaliate. But you arbitrarily exercise your power of the button there as soon as somebody disagrees with you. Mm. Uh, the other thing about your dog, I sympathize completely. Mm. I know how it, it feels. Great. Glad to hear that. John and Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Uh, Bob. Yeah. Hey, I ran over your dog, man. Really? Yeah, sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Um, you want me to uh, you know, like give you any money or anything for it? No. You want? I got a puppy. No, because I know that you're a bald faced liar. <laughs> Bob, I did it right on Bayshore, man. I did. Well, not somewhere. On, that's not where my dog was. Well, right over. off of Bayshore, Bob. No, it wasn't right it off of Bayshore. As a matter of fact, it happened about 250 miles from here. Come on, Bob. Now you're uh -huh. lying. Yeah, all right. I was right there when it happened. I'm sorry, uh -huh. Bob. Hey, the bad part was... Hey, I Punk, you didn't listen close enough. It was the dog that lived with my ex-wife. Pat and Clearwater, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hey, hey he is a liar. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy that hit the dog. Mm -hmm. I run him over, and as a matter of fact, you know all these dogs laying along the road? Uh -huh. I've been practicing, hoping they were Lassiter's. Uh -huh. The cats, I practiced on them, but I finally got yours. Yeah. The one that I dipped in Make tar, kind of I good, thought it was it? yours. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Oh, boy, I'll tell you. I wish yeah. it was you I could dip in tar, but I had to dip uh -huh. that poor dog, and it turned out it wasn't yours anyhow. Uh-huh. So, listen, buy another dog and um, let him loose, and I'll get... Hey, uh, by the way, can I... All these dents in my car, can I claim that on insurance? I don't know. Huh? Could I use you as a reference in case they ask, you know... I'd be delighted to meet oh, with you. You know, you, I know your dog because it has a flat nose. Uh -huh. It's just like you. It's a Polish dog because I know you're a Polish Jew. Mm -hmm. It chases parked cars. Yeah. Typical of its owner. Uh huh. Really. So, uh, will you sign a release so I can get my car fixed now? Sure. Why don't you come down here? I'll sign it for you. Okay. Yeah. I, I, what we'll do is we'll sign it in blood. We'll scrape some off the front end of my car. Uh-huh. Thanks, brother. Uh-huh. Ralph and Tampa. Ralph, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Bobby, baby, you remember me, the sub-Neanderthal pig. You are the worst person I ever had sex with. Your dog was better, but I'm glad he died because he said you were a better lover than me, and I'm jealous. Oh, you know, frequently, frequently people call up and pretend to be gay, but in your particular case, I'm sure that you are. Bob and Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Bob's not swift enough to turn his radio down. He'll be catching on any time now. Hi, Bob. See, I told you. Yeah, hi, how you doing? Pretty good. Uh-huh. Bob, I'd like to call you and talk about your dog. Yeah. I'm glad your poor little pup got ran over by this car. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I wish it was you instead of your dog. Really? Yeah. But I think you're more of a gutless wonder than your dog is. Mm-hmm. 
So, Bob, you going to give me some feedback on that? Come on. Some feedback on what? On, on your gutless wonder dog and you. Oh, what makes my dog a gutless wonder? Because you're his, you're his owner. Oh. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Carlos and Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hi, how you doing? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Oi, um, well, I'd just like to say to all my friends, how you doing out there, you know? And, uh, my girlfriend. Word, man, you know? Yo, Robert, man, I think you ugly, too, man. <laughs> hey, by the way, man, y'all gotta come to Chucho's, man. They give you the awesomest haircut in the world, man. <laughs> hey, man, I heard you are fat, man. They told me you are ugly and you got a long beard, man. No, I don't have a long beard. <laughs> you said you look like a hemorrhoid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you spend much time looking at hemorrhoids? Uh, somebody told me you drive a pencil, too, man. Mm -hmm. No, I don't get too much. Does your friend tell you everything to say? Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> oh, it was my first time on the air, so... Mm, probably your last, too. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, man. What's up, bro? I'm not for me, man. So old are you, man? How old am I? Are you asking how old I am? What? Dan and Tampa, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Uh, guy you had on there was a jerk just now. Well, let's go to Jerry in Bomb Harbor. Jerry, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Jerry wants... <laughs> Go ahead, Jerry. Jerry? Yeah, that's right. From Palm Harbor? Wherever. All uh, right, you know, I listen to you all the time. This smacks to me of, of a cheap attempt to uh, increase the demographics for the lunatic fringe. Uh, are your demographics down amongst that uh, group of people? Is that about it? Well, you can answer that. Is that about it? No. 